My name is Angelica Ortiz. I'm reading Franklin's Bad Day. I'm reading Franklin's Bad Day. Franklin loved to play outside in winter. He could skate forward and backwards. He liked to catch snowflakes on his tongue and make angels in the snow. But today was different. Franklin was having a very bad day. It started in the morning. Franklin was grumpy when he woke up. That's, that's a grouchy face, teased his father. Yes, it is, said Franklin. He crossed his arms and frowned. Would you like a nice breakfast, asked his mother. No, said Franklin. His mother made breakfast anyway. Franklin st stared out, out in the window. Heavy gray clouds push across the sky. It's even a bad day outside, grumbled Franklin. He picked at his food. For the rest of the morning, nothing went right. Franklin knocked over his shoes and broke his favorite cup. He couldn't find his marbles, and the last piece of his puzzle was missing. Franklin slammed a door and stomped his feet. You seem awful, cranky. His mother, I am not, shouted Franklin. Just then, Bear knocked on the door. Franklin picked out. Do you want him to make a snow or ride on my sled? asked Bear. Franklin said, I don't want to do anything, please, Bear said. Fresh air will do you good, said his parent. Out you go with Bear. They handed Franklin his hat and mittens. Franklin pouted as, his, as he bundled up and went outside. The two friends walked along the path near Arthur's house. Let's ask Arthur to come, said Bear. Franklin gave Bear a puzzled look. Oh, I forgot, said Bear, sadly. Arthur moved away yesterday. They didn't talk all the way to the hill. Franklin kneeled at the front of the sled, and Bear sat behind him. Bear gave a push. Let's go, he shouted. The sled gleated half half way down the slope, and then it stopped. They had landed on a bare patch. Oh no, wailed Franklin. What a terrible day. The hill was no fun, so Bear suggests they go to the pond. Then they arrive. The pond was roped off. There's no skating today, warned Mrs. Moll. The ice is thin. Franklin lost his temper. This is my worst day ever. There is no such word as words test, said Beaver. There is for me, said Franklin. I'm leaving. Franklin stormed home. He threw his skates and his lushy, mushy meetings on the floor. Please pick up your things, said his mother. No, he yelled. Franklin was sent to his room. Franklin was so furious he kicked his castle. His father came running and he heard that crash. What's going on in here? Franklin lay on the floor and cried. Don't worry, said his father. You can build the castle again, but I made a castle with other, and she's not here no more, said Franklin. Oh, now I understand, said Franklin's father. You're mad and sad because your friend moved away. Franklin noted, you miss her a lot. His father said, yes, I agree. Franklin in a small voice. They hugged each other for a long time. Arthur and I did lots of things together, said Franklin. Now we can't. 
We can still be friends, said Franklin's father. You can share your feelings by calling or writing, Franklin thought for a moment. Do you have a big envelope in some stamps, he asked. Franklin spent the rest of the day making a scrapbook for Arthur. They, he filled it with pictures and drawings of the two friends. Near the back, Franklin put a dozen envelopes. He printed his address on each one. On the last page, he wrote, "Please write me to, please write to me. Then we can stay friends forever." As he walked to the mailbox, Franklin felt better. Snow was falling and he was getting cold enough for the pond to freeze. Franklin had a feeling that tomorrow would be a good day.